All right, next we have Sergey and Alexander who work for JetBrains and they developed something in their 20% time and they're going to demonstrate a Go IDE. All right. Yep. Uh, so, hi everyone, uh, welcome for coming. Alex and Dave from JetBrains and today we'd like to share some information about our 20% project. It's a Go language support for our flagship IDE, which is called IntelliJ. It's a product cross-platform IDE for a bunch of languages like uh, Java, Python, Ruby, PHP, and so on. And today, we'd like to show a small demo about how to use IntelliJ for your you know, going programming and so on. Uh, so first of all, uh, IntelliJ is very handy for code navigation. And for instance, I'd like to go to some type which called counter and I can show a brief overview of this type like from go to navigation pop-up and I'm going to here. So it's a interface and I'm, I'd like to have a brief overview of the file which in place uh, which I placed and I'd like to find a new counter function. So it's here. Also I have a show package for all files in the, in the package. So it's very handy to understand and find different stuff in your package. So also, you can easily navigate back and forth in your editors and also find usages working as well. And you can find different stuff, understanding what's going on and when you have a right usage or not. Also, it brings very handy rename features uh, just without any command line tool and so on. So you can uh, find that all references to this count interface are named as well. And also integrated Git support allows you to understand what actually changed and you can go through your files. So. For instance, I'd like to revert some particular change, for instance, in this line. And uh, on the fly code analysis allows me to create a missing type. For instance, a very, very handy quick fix. I'd like to create a, some stupid interface for it. And also, I'd like to revert all my changes via integrated Git support. So this is my part is over. and. Uh, I'd like to switch my talk to Alexander. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, hi everyone. I want to demonstrate a couple of features as well. So in plugin, we have a lot of completion everywhere, almost everywhere, and it's quite smart and it context dependent. But we also have a different kind of completion. It's auto import completion. Uh, it's really handy when you discover an uh, unknown API. For example, I don't know, I want to uh, freeze my Go routine, so I assume that something like sleep does it. So I type and I see all functions, variables, uh, constants, and so on from all my Go path. And this looks like appropriate method, but I can check it. I show. Uh, I show its documentation, so that's what I need. And when I complete it, uh, you see that ID added import automatically. Also, I can see uh, what type of uh, parameters does it take. It's some duration. Okay, let's type D. D is an existent uh, variable, so I create it uh, and. I type duration. I see a lot of duration symbols, but this kind, this one looks like appropriate. So I also can see what argument does it takes, can see uh, documentation, and ID complains about uh, multi value return and single value assignments. So I can type E, for example. And for now, ID complains about unused variables, so I can invoke quick fix for that. Uh, also, so let's remove this. 
And now ID complained about unused imports and I can invoke optimizing. And also we have support for testing framework, go test and go check, thanks to our contributors. And for example, we can navigate from file to test file. We can run particular function or run whole file. Uh, I don't know. Let's break something. So we can navigate through all test methods, navigate uh, through output of test methods. And also we have uh, coverage support. So I can run cover. And here is, I see that counter test file covers counter file uh, for 16%. And I can see particular statement that covered and that doesn't. So that's all that we can show today. Not because we doesn't have anything, uh, but because of lack of time. But feel free to ask us during the break. We'd be happy to show you more and answer your questions. And we want to just encourage you to try this plugin and to give us some feedback and maybe some contributions. Thank you.